Chapter 9, Problem 17. Um, in this problem, we're going to compare different investment criteria. There are two projects, and the first question asks to apply the payback criterion and decide which investment we should use and why. For the project A, um, the payback period is it's three years plus whatever else we need to recover divided by the fourth year cash flow. So it's 3.46 years. For project B, project B recovers itself between two and three years. So we'll have two years plus nine thousand, whatever else we need to recover divided by the third year cash flow, 2.5 years. The p so according to this rule, we should accept project B because it pays back sooner than project A. It pays back within 2.5 years versus 3.46 years. The, question, the second question B asks us to apply discounted payback rule and choose which investment we should use. So for project A, remember in discounted payback rule, all we do, we find the present value of each of the cash flows. So we discount each of the cash flows back to present and then apply the payback rule. So for project A, we have 20,000, the cash flow in year one. So if we, we find its present value plus the present value of the second year cash flow. Plus the present value of the third year cash flow. That's eighty eight oh seventy four thirty cents. And then the present value of the fourth year cash flow. Is equals to twenty. Twenty-two, um, two hundred thousand twenty-two and nine eighty-three seventy-seven, and then the discounted payback will be three years plus whatever else we need to recover. So three hundred ninety thousand minus eighty-eight oh seventy-four. And all of that divided by the present value of cash flow in year four. That's going to give us three point four three years. I'm sorry, that's going to give us 3.95 years. Payback period will be calculated similarly. So 
So we're going to take the cash flows for project B. The present value of the first year cash flow. Plus the present value of the second year cash flow. Plus the cash the present value of cash flow in year three. Equals thirty seven thousand four thirty. 76 cents. Present value of the cash flow in year 4 6,003.41 and then the discounted payback period will be three years plus whatever else we need to recover so the initial investment is 40,000 minus what we recovered during the first three years divided by the present value of the cash flow in year four that's going to give us 3.43 years. So according to the discounted payback rule, we accepting project B because it pays sooner than project A. It pays within 3.43 years versus project A that pays within 3.95 years. So we accepting project uh, B in this case. Question C asks to apply the net present value rule and, and to decide which investment we should use. And for this question, uh, we can use uh, the calculator. So we'll, we'll have the following um, inputs. For project A, we have SF0 is minus 300,000. Cash flow in year one, 20,000, positive. F01, one. S02, 50,000 F022 two, two, because we have two years where 50,000 repeats C03 390,000 F03 is 1 hit enter uh, and then I 15% and NPVCPT 11 and the answer that it gives you is 11,058.07 similarly for project B you'll have SF0 minus 40,000, your initial cash flow, C01, 19,000, F01, 1, S02, 12,000, F02, 1, C03, 18,000, F031 C03 10500 
F041 hit enter I equals 15% and then NPV CPT and the answer is 3434.16 so if we compare these two net present values uh, for project A and project B we can see that project uh, A has higher NPV so we should accept project A in this case uh, because it has higher uh, net present value uh, compared to project B.